Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the biggest decisions in prostate cancer treatment. Should you go for radiotherapy or surgery? If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with organ-confined or locally advanced prostate cancer, this video is for you. Stick around as we break down the pros and cons, key statistics, and factors you must consider before making a choice. Let's get started. First things first, what are we dealing with? Organ-confined prostate cancer means the cancer is still inside the prostate. This includes T1C, only found on biopsy, not seen on imaging. T2, can be seen on imaging but still within the prostate. T3A, reaching the prostate capsule possibly microscopically invading it. T3B, now locally advanced, spreading into the seminal vesicles. So, if you're in the T1, T3 range, you're likely choosing between surgery or radiotherapy. But how do you decide? Let's break it down. Choosing the right treatment isn't just about cancer stage, it's about you. Let's go through the key factors one by one. 1. Urinary symptoms. If you have severe urinary symptoms like poor flow, urgency, or nighttime urination, surgery might be the better option because removing the prostate can relieve these issues. But surgery has a 10% risk of urinary incontinence, with 1% of cases being severe enough to need an artificial urinary sphincter. Radiotherapy can also work, but you might need hormone therapy or a TURP, transurethral resection of the prostate, first to avoid worsening symptoms. 2. Age and fitness level. If you're under 75 and fit, surgery might be an option. Over 75. Most centers prefer radiotherapy due to the risks of surgery. Performance status matters. If you're active and independent, surgery is still possible, but if you're frail, radiotherapy is safer. 3. Other health conditions, a history of colitis or inflammatory bowel disease. Radiotherapy is a no-go, it can worsen inflammation. Previous radiation therapy, you might not be able to get another dose safely. 4. Cancer stage T1 to T3A, both surgery and radiotherapy are options. T3B, seminal vesicle invasion. Radiotherapy is often preferred, often with hormone therapy. Now, let's compare head to head. Surgery versus radiotherapy, who wins? Well, it depends. Surgery, radical prostatectomy, pros, one-time procedure, one to two days in the hospital, no need for long-term hormone therapy, avoiding side effects like weight gain and hot flashes, gives an exact cancer stage and grade after removal. Easier to do salvage radiotherapy if cancer returns, 10 to 15% recurrence rate for both treatments. Cons, invasive, risks of bleeding, infection, and rectal injury, 1% of cases, higher incontinence risk, 10% mild, 1% severe. Erectile dysfunction risk, 30 to 60% depending on nerve sparing. Radiotherapy pros, non-invasive, no surgery risks. Lower incontinence risk, better for older, less fit patients. Cons, requires daily treatment for four to seven weeks, usually combined with hormone therapy, which has side effects, weight gain, mood swings, osteoporosis risk. If cancer returns, salvage surgery is much harder due to scarring. So, which is better? The answer is, it depends on you. If you're younger, fit, and want a one and done treatment, surgery might be best. If you're older or have health risks, radiotherapy could be the safer bet. And remember, both treatments are equally effective for curing cancer with survival rates at over 90% for localized prostate cancer. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health content. Drop your questions in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Stay healthy and see you next time.